Hello, the name of this story is Peppa the Ugly Princess. In this story, there is a girl. And this girl is a princess. And the name of the princess is Peppa. And this princess was very tall. She was three meters tall. She was very tall, very tall, and very thin. But this princess, Peppa, was not a beautiful girl. She was indeed very ugly. She was very ugly. It's the opposite of beautiful. She was very ugly. She she was bald, but she was not completely bald. She had a long nose and she was bald on the top of her head, but she had long hair on the on the side on the sides of the head and she had a word a word in her nose she was very ugly but she was an ugly princess, but she was rich. She had a lot of money. She was rich. She had a lot of money. So she was ugly, but she was rich. She was a rich princess. She lived in a castle. She lived in a castle. In a castle. in a big castle but the castle was located in an island this is an island a small island full of pantries with a lot of palm trees this is a palm tree and the island so this is the island with the castle and the palm trees and here it was surrounded by water the ocean this is the ocean water or the sea and surrounding It was surrounded by sharks, very brave and dangerous sharks. Hmm. Uh, the castle was very special. During the day, the castle was made of sand, sand, you know, sand. Like in the beach, there is sand. But at night, at night, the castle turned into chocolate. So all the castle, all the castle was made of chocolate. 
white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, everything in the castle, the walls, tables, the chairs, everything, the beds, everything, the toilets, everything was made of chocolate. And if, if you eat, if you, if you eat the chocolate, uh, next day everything will be exactly the same. So you will never finish the chocolate, okay? Tonight, because this happened at night, uh, you eat, I don't know, this piece of wool, you eat that because it's chocolate, you eat that and when you go to bed and you wake up in the morning, there is the wall exactly the same. So you don't destroy it, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> what a wonderful castle, yes or not? Peppa was an ugly princess, rich princess, but very ugly. But that was not her problem. She had a very, very big problem. Because she was a princess and she had a magic wand. She had a magic wand. And her big problem was that the magic wand was broken. Was broken. And she was very, very sad. She was very sad. She was very depressed. She was indeed crying all the time. She was very, very, very sad. Because if the magic wand was broken, she could not do her spells, magic spells. Okay? Abracadabra, ping. But she could not do it because the magic wand was broken. So she wanted to fix, she, want, she wanted to fix the magic wand and she called, she called a very big famous uh, wizard called Lumiere Brothers. They were wizards. Wizard is like a witch. Witch is for women and wizard is for men. So Lumiere brothers were a very famous uh, wizard. And she called Lumiere brothers and said, my magic wand is broken. And I want, I need to fix the magic wand. So, Lumiere brothers said to Peppa, you need, uh, you need to find true love. True, true love. Real love, real love, true love. <clears throat> and how can you do this? There is a dwarf, dwarf, dwarf is a person that is very little, a dwarf, that lives in a castle but not in an island. The castle is under the water, so inside the water. There is the island, water, water, and inside the water there is another castle and the dwarf lives there, under the water, okay? 
And they said to Peppa, this dwarf has to love you. Okay? You need that the dwarf falls in love with you. True love. How can you do that? Thought the princess. And they said, you need to create a special love potion. Love potion. And the dwarf drinks the potion and he will fall in love with you. Okay. She needs a love potion. Okay. And to do the love potion, he needs three ingredients. Ingredient number one, ingredient number one, she needs a pineapple pizza. So, yes, <laughs> she needs a pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is ingredient number one. So one pineapple pizza. Pizza with pineapple. Ingredient number two. You need a little frog with a big mouth eating a chocobon. Small chocolate, a chocobon. So you need a little frog with a big mouth eating a chocobon. And ingredient number three is one hair, one hair of Alberti taken when he's saying so cool. So when he says so cool, you have to pull a hair from his head. Okay? These are the three ingredients. I'm going down. Okay. Um, then you put the three ingredients in a pot and you make it with water and you make it boil boil, chup, 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 cooking, for one hour. And then you have the magic love potion, okay? So, Peppa lives in, a, in an island surrounded by sharks, and in the island there is nothing, just a castle with palm trees. So, there are no supermarkets. But, she is a rich, she's a rich princess. So when you are rich, when you have a lot of money, you don't need to go to a store, to a supermarket. So she called, she called and said, I need pineapple pizza and chocobones. So in one minute, there was a, a plane A plane flying over the island and they throw a box in a, in a parachute. They threw, they threw the box with a parachute on the island with ingredient number one and the chocobones for the second ingredient. That was very easy. Uh, but she needed to find the little frog with a big mouth to give him or her a chocobon, okay? So she
Okay, so she lived in an island, but the frog didn't live in the island. So she jumped on a shark and she traveled to the shore. Okay, the beach, the beach. And, and from there, she walked through a forest for, she walked, it was a long walk. She walked for two and a half days. So she walked for two and a half days and finally she found a small lake lake and in the lake there was well there was a frog with a little frog with a big mouth but she was sad she was very sad because as we know from other stories her friend was dead so she was very sad and Peppa thought mm, you need a chocobon so she gave she gave gave a chocobon to the little frog with the big mouth so ingredient number one done ingredient number two done Third ingredient, ingredient number three, that was difficult. So, where does Alberti live? He lives in Barcelona and he works, well, he works as an actor, but sometimes he goes to a school called La Montañeta. So, Peppa, Peppa had to fly to Barcelona and to do that, she called, <laughs> she, she called her two favorite geese, okay? The geese, these are two. One goose, we know this also from another story, one goose, two geese. So she called two geese and the geese, the geese holds in their mouth a long stick and Peppa grabbed the stick in the middle. So one goose on one side, one goose on the other side, holding a stick in the mouth and Peppa grabbed the stick from the middle and they flew to Barcelona. <coughs> Peppa went inside the school she looked for Alberti in all the classes and she found Alberti in a sixth grade class. And Alberti was recording a video. He was doing a selfie of himself. He was recording a video. So Peppa walked very slowly and she pulled a hair just in the moment that Alberti was saying, so cool. Okay? So, ingredient number three, done. She had the three ingredients. So, she put everything in a big pot with fire. This is a big pot. All the ingredients were inside. And this is fire. And chup, 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 chup. The, the soup or the potion boiled, boiled 
for one hour. And when it was done, when it was ready, she put the love potion into, hmm, how, how could she make the dwarf drink the potion? Hmm. So Peppa thought, oh, the frog loved the chocobo. Everybody loves chocobones, it's chocolate. So she thought, hmm, she threw chocobones into the magic love potion. And then she grabbed the chocobones and she, she dove, she went down the sea to the dwarf's castle and when he saw the dwarf she gave him chocobones and the dwarf of course loved the chocobones so he ate the chocobones and just in the right moment that the dwarf ate the chocobones, he fell in love with Peppa. It was true love, okay? <laughs> and the magic wand instantly whoop, was fixed. It, was, it wasn't broken anymore. Now it's not broken. It's a normal magic wand. So she was very, very happy. She was rich. She had the magic wand fixed and she found her true love, the dwarf. So everything was great. She was an ugly princess, but she was a happy princess. And that's the end of the story. We built together for three or four weeks in the class.